G'day, Lockie here. So a couple of months ago when Istio was first released, I did a segment on installing Istio and starting to work with Istio. I actually wanted to give a little update about where Istio is now and just some work I'd been doing around uh, installing Istio with a Helm chart. Um, so what we're gonna take a look at today is actually uh, 0.2.7, which is still a release candidate. I wanna stress that it's a release candidate. It's not the final release for 0.2, but I've actually taken um, the Helm chart that I produced for the 0 0.1 uh, major, uh, minor release and actually updated it for 0 0.2. So it's still subject to change, um, but I wanted to show you how it worked and a few little tips and tricks about getting it installed. There are a couple of other things that are really cool um, about the 0 0.2 uh, release strand of Istio um, in terms of how it's laying down infrastructure on Kubernetes. It's now using CRDs, custom resource definitions, so you need to have uh, Kubernetes 1.7 or above, and you also have the ability, um, if you remember back at the in, or, uh, the inject feature, so calling Istio CTL and doing an inject, which went and modified your resources client side before submitting them to Kubernetes. Now you have the option um, in 1.7 and above to use initializers. So I have a video on how initializers work. I'm gonna take you through the initializers and then installing book info with initializers. Um, so let's get to it here. So let's see what we're working with. There's a couple of windows I have here. Okay, all right, so let's have a look. So we have um, uh, Kubernetes 1.7.5 cluster here, and we don't have too much running on it at the moment. I have actually installed the Istio system in here before, so let's go ahead and, and delete that. Delete NS. Okay, so that is deleted. Now, while that is, is finishing up here, what we can do is use Helm search to look for Istio. So you can see here that in the incubator repository, we have an Istio chart, and it's version 027 chart two. Now, because of the naming, we actually, um, this is a pre-release chart, so we need to use a, a flag when we do the install. I'll show you how that works. But what we can also do is a Helm inspect if we wanna look at the values that we can modify in this chart. So Helm inspect uh, that chart and we want to use this version. So let's take a look at that and I'll pipe it to less. Right, so this is the values.yaml um, for display here and this shows you everything that I can turn on or off. So on my cluster I have RBAC enabled so we'll go ahead and install RBAC. Um, Istio install, so because of the way uh, Istio is dependent on CRDs being created before you actually create resources against those custom resource types, I've created a flag here to not install it on first class and just install the CR, uh, CRDs and then go ahead and install them when they're ready. Uh, we have auth enabled and initializer here enabled, we're going to install the initializer as well. Um, so there's some things to keep in mind that's using the helm and spec command here. So what I'm going to do down in this bottom uh, window here is I'm going to use the Helm Tiller plugin um, to do a logs minus F on Tiller. Right, so here we go. You can see that I've done some things before. Um, so let's go ahead and install this. Install. We're going to give it a name called Istio. We're going to use Incubator Istio. Uh, we're going to do a dash dash devel to use the pre-release. Uh, which following Simver to anything on the right hand side of this dash means that it is pre-release. Uh, what else do we want? We'll put it in a namespace, a namespace called uh, Istio system. Okay, fantastic. And we want to set a couple of values um, from the inspect. So let me pull the inspect up over here. Inspect uh, incubator Istio version 027 chart two that to less. So we want to set uh, RBAC installed. Okay, so dash dash set RBAC dot install equals true because we have RBAC enabled. So I want to create all those roles and role bindings um, for the user. Uh, Istio dot install equals true. And I also want to use the initializer. Okay, initializer is a hard word for me to spell for whatever reason. <laughs> Dot enabled equals true. And I'm actually going to use a dry run here and dash dash debug to have a look at it. And let's less that. 
Oh, I did not spell install correctly. Okay, you can actually see this has all been sent over um, to Tiller, and Tiller's do, presenting us some logs there. But basically, I want to see that these user supplied um, values have all been read in, and what it's actually going to uh, compute the values, and if we go all the way down, you'll actually see the resources that it's going to create. So let's go and drop the debug and the dry run here and do an install. Okay, so that has happened. And if we take a look at the output here, as I mentioned for the first time, I'm going to create all the custom resource definitions. So here they all are for the Istio, Istio 0.2 release. Okay, and it's telling me down here, now you can go ahead because these are all installed and do an upgrade. So I'm going to take this command here. Um, the only thing I'm going to add to it is because it's pre-release dash devel, reuse values. Um, and I'm going to run that. So let's see what's happening here. Preparing update for Istio, getting last version of Istio, getting release history. So because I use reuse values, it's pulling out the values that I've already set, so I don't need to set them again. Um, I do. Ha I am setting this. That is actually unnecessary with reuse values, so superfluous. But that's okay. What I'm going to do over here is kubectl get um, pods in the namespace Istio's uh, Istio system. Let's put just do a watch on the front end of that. Okay. So it's the hooks are completed. Building resources from updated manifest. Now remember I also set the initializer, so we should see the initializer um, being installed as well. So uh, Tiller is going through and right now rendering all the resources before committing, uh, submitting them to the Kubernetes API. So let's see how we go here. Now using Helm is only one way to install Istio. You can uh, follow the documents upstream as well. So we see um, that we have the CA, Egress, Grafana, Ingress. We have the initializer that's up and running. We have Mixer, Pilot, Prometheus, Service Grass, and Zipkin. So this is the full suite, all coming up right now. Okay. So that's happening. While this is finishing, let's go over and have a look at the docs and set up tasks. I want to do a reference. The install, installing sidecar, adding. I want to go actually follow the book info. I think that's actually in the setup documents here. Installing quick start. Verifying. Deploy your application. So I'm going to go have a look at the book info app here and, and do an install again. Once that's all up and running. So Mix is still in container creating. Okay, this is actually an error that I've logged a bug for. It cannot render the initializer config in when it's printing it out in Helm but that's okay. Okay, we've got a error image pull, image pull back off. Let's see if what's happening here. Do some live debug. Sure, why not? Okay, cube cuddle describe. Oh, it's up and running now. I don't know why we got a, an image pull back off there once, but we have the whole suite up and running. Okay, fantastic. Installed. Um, cube cuddle get initializer config. What is that resource type? Oh, we could probably just grab it from up here. Admin yeah, initializer configuration. Cuddle's giving me that error. Not Helm. Interesting. Anyway, we, we have it there. 
All right. So what I want to go and do right now is get the services in Istio system. Okay, so we're still waiting on that public IP to come up. While we do that, what I want to show you is if I actually do a kubectl apply. So you see this automatic sidecar injection? That is using initializers under the hood when you're running this on Kubernetes, rather than using kube inject using the Istio CTL command here. So I'm going to do kube apply over here. Okay, it's creating everything. And what we can take a look at is get pods. We'll do a watch on that. Right, so you can see everything's already up and running because I didn't delete it from before. So how about we go on ahead and delete it and recreate it to prove that this, <laughs> this runs. So you, you saw it here first. I've actually tested this before, obviously. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and just nuke this and bring it, bring it back. Right, let's see if we get a service in the meantime. We can set up the rest while we're waiting for that to clear. Yes, okay. So the ingress does have a public IP and everything is getting deleted right now. So let's go ahead and get the rest of this set up while we're waiting for that to delete. So there's this export gateway URL. This is just a way for me to test it. Um, the book info application via the Istio ingress once we've redeployed it. So it's going back out currently um, and what's next? So we should see that this indeed is a 404 because that does not exist currently. So this curl will go out and grab the HTTP um, status code against that, against this URL. It's a 404 because the app is indeed not deployed. So let's go ahead and do an apply. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. Now, what you see here is, is two of two. So what we're actually doing is automatically injecting on the server side using the initializer before we're committing. So if we go and take a look at any one of these deployments um, in this file, let's have a look. We should not see Envoy, Enjoy, Envoy in here at all. Everything should be a single container pod but the initializer is actually doing the legwork under the hood and deploying them. So we could go and actually check the logs if we wanted to. Kubectl get pods in the namespace Istio system. Okay, so we could take this and see what it's doing. Logs minus F, and we will take a look at uh, in Istio namespace. I will not do a minus F here. Okay, failed to list. It's trying to hit something that doesn't exist. I think that's fine. I saw some logs here. Oh, here we go. Okay, initializer. Okay, so injected, injected this policy, sidecar injected. So you can see that it's gone ahead and injected all those sidecars for validation there. Okay, fantastic. So this app is, should be up and running. All the pods are running. So the book, book info app stack should be up and running here. Okay, so if I go back and do a curl, we now get a 200. So let me put that in a while loop. While true, do that, um, sleep, one, done. So I'm just pushing that in a loop right now. What we can also do is hit these services, kubectl will get pods in the namespace Istio system. We should be able to do a kubectl port forward, um, forward if I could spell, and we wanna do 3000 to 3000 to hit Grafana in the namespace Istio system. Fantastic, that port forward is there. Local host on 3000. Here's Grafana, here's the dashboard, we should, okay, so we can start to see the traffic and all my dashboard is coming in, fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that port forward and we'll just push one through to service graph instead, which I believe is 8088 to 8088. Okay, so I'm gonna just push this 88.fizz, that looks okay. Okay, so we can see our service graph, it, 
dot viz is being rendered as well for the traffic flows there. So there you have it, fantastic. What we just did to reiterate is push out uh, release candidate 2 for Istio um, 0 0.2.7. Um, and we've gone through the whole flow using auto ejection, so Kubernetes initializes under the hood, not having to inject them using Istio CTL on the client side. Um, and you can see that those pods actually come up and get the Envoy router. We should just pop in and take a look here. Describe. Fantastic. What do we got in here? We should see that we have. Oh, we. Envoy has been injected. Okay, Istio proxy, Envoy, fantastic. So um, it's been automatically injected, which I think is a, is a fantastic feature. Um, you need to enable this feature in Kubernetes under the hood using some alpha APIs if you want to play with it. Um, and you've got a Helm chart there that we can actually tweak and, and run the install. So very excited for the release. Uh, congratulations and thank you to the Istio team uh, for their continued work in the community um, and making a great project that I'm really excited to use. So thanks for joining. Um, hope you're excited as I am to see that final uh, 0.2 release. Thanks for joining. Cheers.